So one of the most inconvenient things with Empire at War is trying to launch different mods if you have a bunch of them. There is an in-game mod launcher that was added with the or, or with the new patches that Petroglyph started putting out a couple years ago, but it's not the most reliable thing, and it also means you have to launch into the base game and then select the mod and it'll kick you out of the game and relaunch the mod you wanted to launch. So I'm going to show you a way to have as many different mods set up as possible to launch directly from your Steam library. And this will work even if you don't have the Steam copy of the game, because we're going to be using the add a non-Steam game option right here. So the first thing you need to know, uh, this will work again for either Steam Workshop mods and mods installed into your uh, into your mods folder. I'm going to show you the Steam Workshop mods first. Uh, so let's say you've just subscribed to Imperial Civil War. Uh, so you will need this ID number for whichever mod it is up here, which for Imperial Civil War is 112-557-1106. So I'm going to copy that. And then we're going to go back to our Steam library. And I have my stuff separated into categories. I've just been working on getting that started because I have too much there. But we are going to add a non-Steam game. Browse. And you'll go into your Steam Apps Common Empire at War Corruption folder. And then you're going to want to add the Star Wars G.exe. So we will add selected programs, and that will throw in the Empire at War executable down here. So we're going to go into Properties for that, Set Launch Options, and then for the Steam Workshop copies of the mods, it'll look like this. So Steam Mod equals, and then you can just paste in the number. We'll say OK there, and then we'll rename it Imperial Civil War uh, Workshop. You can call it whatever you want. So now that's up here, and if we double click on that, it'll launch it directly in. But I'm going to set the categories to Empire or Mods because that is what it is for me. So it's a similar process for if you are uh, working on a mod that's in your Mods folder. So we will take a look in our Mods folder here. Mine is probably a lot more cluttered than yours will be. I definitely need to clean up some of this. But let's say you have an Imperial Civil War beta. It, again, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just any mods folder. You just need the name of the folder. So we'll get the name of that. Then we'll head back into Steam. And again, this will work for even non-Steam versions of Empire at War. So add a game. Add a non-Steam game. Same initial setup for it here. Star Wars G. Add selected programs. Then we're going to head down to where Star Wars G is once again. And for these, the launch options will be mod path equals mods slash. Oh, thank you, Canadian keyboard. Doesn't want to enter characters properly. Slash ICW beta. And then I'll just call this. Imperial Civil War Beta. And I will set the category. Again, this is just for my stuff. You don't need to worry about setting the categories. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So that will launch directly into, if you just double click it here. So it'll look like it's running the Empire War, uh, the actual Empire War option, which is really what it's doing. But as you'll see in a second, it is launching directly into Imperial Civil War. Uh, so with this, you don't have to worry about having a bunch of different uh, stuff memorized, a bunch of different mod IDs memorized, or uh, using the in-game launcher. You can just launch directly into whatever you want, and you can have as many of those set up as you like, uh, or as many as you want to see cluttering up your Steam library. Hope this is helpful for some of you. Uh, I've definitely found it really convenient. So uh, thanks for watching. And I will be back with some actual modding tutorials again soon.